Okay. That's no use. What happened here? Your dream of the apocalypse is coming true. Oh, no. Your friend stopped the crane. Now the reactor can't be oh. cooled anymore and will explode in a few minutes. Oh. What can we do about it? We have to lower Reactivate it. Reactivate the crane! Right. Oh, the switch is one floor down from here. Okay, can we I control see it. it from here? There is an emergency flooding mechanism. But to activate it, the valve on the first floor has to be opened. The crane's on the second floor. The valve on the first floor. Understood. Oh, boy. Is this, uh... Take care of Indez. I'll activate the crane. How can she be this naive? That sociopath won't think twice about killing her. Yeah, that's Shut what up. I was thinking. She'll make it. <laughs> okay, Faye. Let's do this. Crane controls. Yeah. The crane controls. Good. Great. Now hurry back. If the water touches the nuclear fuel rod, the whole room Ooh. will be filled with That's boiling true. hot steam. Not so fast. Well, oh. well. If that isn't radio, just keep them talking. Faye, and here I thought you little. might be useful. No. Guess I was wrong. Give me the blue-green algae. What? Why? Because then, neither you nor Bent Svensson have something on me. What? If you thwart my plan to save the world, I'll thwart yours. We already know the blue-green algae is a red herring. Come on. No. Oh, man. No tricks. Hand over the algae. I should... I nope. Yeah, okay. You know what? Take you damn algae. Good. Now we can negotiate. If my oh plan boy. is successful, and I'm sure it will be, this power plant will blow up, and the world will be in a frenzy to find alternative energy sources to prevent mm. such a disaster from happening Sulfur's ever again. getting very popular. And that's the reason why I and need cheap. Very cheap. and the algae. It's like Did you hear me, Svensson? Dollar a watt or something. Without a catastrophic event like this, no one will ever listen to you. I'll give you enough time to escape, and in return, you'll let me see my plan through. Bent? Don't listen to him. Don't worry, Faye. I'm not stupid. Your compassion makes you stupid. Because you always want to do right by everybody. Nothing will ever change. Here's a challenge for you. Is right. your will to stop me strong enough to sacrifice Faye? Oh, what? Man. You heard right. We either come to an understanding or Faye is going to die. Good God. I'm waiting. Uh, I don't know. I hope everything will go. Of course. We'll hey. Oh, he missed. Whew. Okay, open the valve, open the valve, open the valve. Damn it! Come on. Emergency valve, Faye. No time to read it. I opened the valve! You can activate the emergency flooding now! He won't do that! Yes, Poor he will. Faye would drown if he did. Oh, man. And now, let me in! I have the algae, and I still want to negotiate. <sighs> Look at dispute attack. I can't even attack. He is completely mad. He's so mad. You know what, Faye? We're just gonna sacrifice ourselves. Let's let's go gently into that good night. Yep. Bent. We have to. If you can't sacrifice me, I'm gonna sacrifice myself. Uh, Faye's doing the right thing. I mean, otherwise Salvador is going to kill one or both of us anyway, regardless. Stop! What are you doing? Yeah, we have to do it. It's going to suck being steamed to death, but... Steam, not smoke. It's a bad way to go. <laughs> oh, 
Inez, <laughs> shut it. What's so funny? Your friends just got steamed. Do you want to know what for? For oh. nothing. Why do you say Nothing's that? Nothing's changed. My power plant is still standing. I am alive. And you don't really believe that I will just let you walk away with the algae, do you? I will beat you if you try to even slow me down, not let alone stop me. Yes, that is exactly what I believe. Good evening, Dr. Svensson. <sighs> My name is Miranda Barbarez. I think that is enough of an introduction. I was at my Miranda husband's Barbaros. dinner party when I received a distress call from Brazil. The call came from your son at the command center of Emilio mm. Windes. He said some crazy stuff about Duva. time travels, then put me through to you. What in God's name is going on there? Yeesh. What is going on? I can tell you exactly what is going on here. A catastrophe is going on. Two people just died because we are incapable of change. Calm down, please. I promise that we will start an investigation into this incident. Come to Oslo immediately and bring that algae with you. We'll talk about everything else there. Hmm. Oh, poor steamed Fay. Salvador, pff, don't care about him, but... <sighs> well... I hope my blue-green algae actually does do something for the future. I mean, I know there's also solar and wind and all that, but, you know, we can combine it with my algae. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hurricanes, forest fires, melting polar caps, and expanding deserts. Climate change is said to make our planet uninhabitable, but will it be as early as 2050? Yeah, I wouldn't Today, actually I doubt it. You know, the novel, just the, the speed Plan. at which, which it's changing. He it might be 2050. Physics is a special emissary it's, of it's the actually EU not out of the question. For a better world. Welcome, Dr. Life Ogerson. Hey, Augie. Good evening, Tom. Life, your novel ends with a terrible catastrophe. Gonzalo, oh, this a is the novel. Eco activist from the future causes a major nuclear disaster, thereby destroying all it's Gonzalo, of not America. Inez. That was the only way to save the world for good, or so he said. Are you serious? Did you just tell the whole world about the fantastic ending of my novel? It is a very <laughs> cynical ending. <laughs> yes, it is. Seriously, the important question you should ask is this. How can you encourage 7 billion people to act? Two people alone can't save the world. So you want to provoke your readers into action? Do you really think a sci-fi thriller is the right platform? Why wouldn't it be? My God, we live in the heat. Bullocks. Complete and utter nonsense. Well, Bent, let's ha let Augie have his novel. Mr. Tall let's do the real work. Tells the truth for once and then claims that he had just made all of it up. It's what they call force of habit, Bent. Oh, so Duvet is working change. with me again. Good, good. Bah. Bah, humbug. Is there any more coffee? Nope. Damn it. How are we supposed to help save the world save when the we're world. out of coffee? <laughs> I'll get some tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow? In a couple hundred years, Sydney burns, Moscow trembles, and London drowns. We don't have time to dawdle. I need my coffee, and I need it now. Uh, Bent? What? Moscow freezes. Ah. Uh, right. Wow. There we go. Well, Bent, Duva, I hope this blue-green algae really does help. I'd have some on my balcony. That'd be okay. All right. So, what do you guys think? If if anyone watches this, I don't know if there will be, but if anyone does, hope you enjoyed it. I don't know if I'll ever upload another one because, uh, oh, we're back in the basement. <gasps> The time capsule. Dun dun dun. <gasps> Who could 
looked at me. All right. I liked it. I thought it was good. Uh, like I said, not sure if I'll ever stream it or uh, record again, because I don't know if anyone is even interested in watching this, but I had fun playing it. It was good. I recommend it. Check it out on Steam, uh, Daedalic Entertainment. They have lots of point-and-click games. Like I said, Whispered World. Oh, it's just going to go back to this. Is another good one. Um, yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. And if you want to see something else, let me know.